tutorial. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on um, how to drop up portions of the head. I, this is not meant for you to spend hours um, drawing portraits or people or anything like this is sort of like a nice to know thing. This is um, more for like we've, we're tracing things, but this is if um, you know things get kind of wonky and if you go back and, and like redraw anything. So this is a lot of nice to know. I want you to try this in your book and I don't want you to spend forever doing it. I just want you generally to get some spacing out. Okay, so we're going to start here. And uh, the human head is you're going to really lightly draw a bit of a circle. And then you're going to add sort of a chin area for it. Okay? All right. So you roughly have that shape. You're going to very roughly draw a line down the middle because human beings' heads are like symmetrical for the most part. <laughs> um, then I want you to sort of find the middle of everything and draw a line go across so believe it or not your eyes your eyeballs are actually in the middle of your head right they're actually in the center of your head so um, these are going to be your eyeball lines so this is where your eyes are going to be so um, believe it or not there's actually room for five eyeballs that goes across so I'm only going to use obviously these ones so I'm going to draw my pupil I'm going to draw an outline. Um, was, okay, so uh, roughly just draw an eye, right? Just draw the shape, not too concerned about it. We need some eyebrows, right? Okay, um, again, this is super rough. Okay, halfway between the line for your eyes and the bottom is actually your nose line, halfway between the nose line and your chin, roughly, is going to be the bottom of your mouth. Okay? So, um, the sides of your nose are actually lined up with the inside of your eyes. So that's how wide, roughly, your nose is. And of course, some people have you know, thinner noses or thicker noses, but that's just roughly, okay? So your noses are a real pain in the butt to draw. So I'm just going to show you down here how to I draw a nose. And again, we are not spending forever on it. I just sort of start with a couple shapes like that. Um, and then this is sort of the bottom part here of your nose. Okay. And then here I just draw your nostrils. Then it comes up and around. Okay. So let's just do that really, really briefly. Okay, and then this is sort of like a triangle, and then right here is like a shadow. Okay, again, really briefly. So the bottom of your lip here is between here and here, right? Um, how I draw my mouth, they kind of come up in line, I, and then there's a couple circles. Okay, so that's how I'm going to draw my lips. Now, the outside of my lips are actually lined up with the pupils of my eye. So I've got my pupils. I'm going to then come down, right? So that's how I know how far my mouth is going to go. Okay, and then you've got this little thing right here on your lips. Okay, perfect. Now, your ears, actually, the top of it is actually lined up with that line here of your eyeballs and the bottom of your ear is actually, believe it or not, lined up with the bottom of your nose. Okay, so you're going to draw rough ears Oops. here. Okay, again, this is all really rough. Your hairline, well, it's going to be different from, it's about halfway between here and here. Okay, your hairline, I guess on some people, you kind of, these are sort of the light parts here. So I always sort of draw it something like this now so now this is where we're going to get the edges of I don't know if you're doing a man it's kind of more rigid right they would have kind of more cheekbones that kind of come down right and they would have sort of more of a sturdy chin more of a square chin okay and if it's a girl you know you can make things more smooth that's roughly that the neck, it kind of actually come, extends down the side, like this. 
right? Adam's apple. And if you did your shoulders, they'd come like this. This is an imaginary person, right? So this is just for you to start to think about where things go. Now your eyes have like the shadow. And this is just for to start to think about um, where we're going to start to put our for our painting we're ready to go so again I got glasses on so it's sort of annoying but here there's like an eye socket so that's where all the shading would be okay so same thing here this is where your shading would be this shading's here I just sort of mark it like this okay there's shading here and I just want you to honestly spend like five minutes on it just so you can start to think and it curls underneath right just so you can sort of see where some of the shadows are the shadows here and where everything's placed okay and then of course dark hair okay and that way you can see that the light is sort of hitting in these spots right and on your nose sometimes there's a bit of shadow on your nose right a bit of light here okay and I and I just want you to try that um, you know again nothing's like detailed or specific I just want you to think about you know where everything is the in the face and where the shadows and everything go because in that way when we're moving on to actually painting some of them so you can start to understand where the light is hitting some spots and where the shadows are and how to sort of work away with around that okay and of course you get our shadows underneath so I just want you to try that pause it as you if you want as you go but I don't want you to spend you know forever on it because we definitely are not doing like a realistic uh, portrait of any of this okay I just want you to know how everything works so when we are painting if you know things get carried away you can easily bring it back okay just give that a shot in your in your sketchbook look how messy mine is give it a shot it can be a realistic person it can just be a made-up person like I just did okay good do a good job